Okay, so to begin Daenerys Targaryen's hair, we are going to separate our hair into two parts and braid them because this will create a nice wave which is definitely a part of her signature look. Okay, and so I'm just going to leave these pigtails in for a few minutes while I do my makeup and then I'll let them out which will create the nice wavy hair that we're looking for. And so for the foundation, you will want to use a very light coverage, kind of just natural foundation. And the one that I'm using is Clinique's Perfectly Real Makeup. And I love this stuff because it literally feels like you are not wearing makeup at all. And I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. So after adding my light coverage foundation, I'm taking some concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and fix some of the dark spots and imperfections on my face because perfect skin for this look is a must. The next step to take would be to go ahead and powder your face and I'm just using the MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on now. Okay, and so Daenerys has a slight glow. She doesn't have too much color in her cheeks but it's just enough to make her not look washed out. So I'm going to add blush. I'm using ELF's Twinkle Pink Blush which is the one that I pretty much always use because I love this blush and I'm just going to add a little bit. Okay, and so next up are the eyebrows. And Daenerys obviously has lighter eyebrows than me because she has blonde hair. So what I'm going to do to kind of fix that would be to take a lighter eyeshadow color than my eyebrows and just go ahead and fill them in to make them a little bit thicker because Daenerys' eyebrows are thicker than mine as well. And the palette that I'm using is this one. It is an Avon palette and it is in paradise green and the color that I'll be using is this one on the end and it's actually a lot lighter than it looks and after doing my eyebrows I'm just adding a touch of mascara to make my eyes pop a little bit more but not too much Okay, so my final step for my makeup is to take a nude lipstick, and the one I'm using is by MAC, and it is called Freckle Tone. And here it is. And I'm not going to put too much of this on because I really don't want to look like I'm wearing lipstick, so yeah. Okay, and so next I am going to take my pigtails out. And as you can see, my hair is a lot wavier now. And something I should have said before is that it's probably best to do this when your hair is a little bit damp. Okay, and so to begin this first braid, I'm just grabbing a piece of hair from the front section of my hair since this is not a French braid. And I'm also leaving a piece of hair behind because in a lot of the pictures of Khaleesi, this is pretty much the style that she has. And I'll probably curl it or something to give it more body. And when doing this braid, it's important to braid it across your head and as close to your scalp as possible because the braid starts very early. And so now, using a skinny hair tie, I'm just going to tie this braid and put it to the side. Okay, and so this next braid is going to be a little bit smaller. And as you can see, I'm just trying to get hair that is from this section only. And this looks kind of crazy right now, but it'll look good. <laughs> 
And I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the first braid. Okay, and so next, the most important thing to do would be to go ahead and pin this braid back all the way. And I'm just going to do that with bobby pins. And I will put one right here. And then also, I'm going to pin it right here. Okay, and so next you have this smaller braid. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to take this layer toward the bottom and begin rolling it toward the back. Like so. And then right where it meets the other bobby pins, I'm also going to pin this. And then next, I will just repeat that with the other side. You can just kind of pull the braids out a little bit or also pin them down with more bobby pins to make it even. And so now that I have everything pinned up, I'm going to take out the hair ties because it'll look a lot more natural without them. Okay, and so the next thing to do would be to go ahead and take your curling iron and curl these smaller pieces, but not too much because you don't want them springy or anything. And it really doesn't matter which way you curl them because really what we're trying to do here is just give them a little bit of body. Something like this. Something else that you might want to do is just go ahead and take some strands of hair and then give them a little bit more wave because in some of the pictures of Khaleesi that you'll see her hair is curly but in some of them it's wavy, kind of like crimps or something. So you could really go either way with this. Okay and so here is the finished look. And as I said before, a lot of the pictures of Khaleesi's hair vary as far as the size of braids and how many braids there are. So you can kind of just play around with this and make your own look. But I hope that this tutorial was helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below as well as video responses. And yeah, so I hope you all have a great week. Bye!